Hello YouTube fam, how y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I ran and I review, man. SDCC, San Diego Comic Con, was amazing for the classified line. They had so many reveals, they had so much of stuff that people were really just trying to get. Everybody was trying to get that Chuckles um, code, you know. My whole thing is, I don't need the code, I don't need all of that. My whole thing is, I'm just happy to see a lot of these figures being made. You know, just not a lot of repaints. You know, they made a lot of repaints. You know what? We got the Steel Corp 2-pack. Uh, that's good for troop building. You know, again, I know it's going to be pricey, but it's real good for troop building. Uh, again, you got Chuckles. Again, it will be available sooner or later on um, Hasbro Pulse. You got the Cobra Hiss uh, Team 788. Man, they're looking amazing, man. You know, see, a lot of stuff, man, it's a three-pack. You know, I know some people said it's some repaints in there, but you know what? I'm just looking at, you know, we're getting a lot of different stuff, man. It's just not the same shit that's coming down the pipeline. We're getting new stuff. New stuff to make us excited to collect again. New things that make this hobby a little better. Man, we also got uh, Tripwire, man. He comes with Asper, Asper, Aspera <laughs> and McLeod, which is the robot, and Asper, Aspera is the rat. Then we got Junkyard and Mutt. Um, and Mutt comes with the extra head. Man, this shit is looking amazing, man. That's what I'm talking about. But besides just G.I. Joe, I want to talk about some other stuff, too. Marvel Legends is doing it big, too. They got Blade. See, that's what I've been looking for. You know what? I want Blade, man. You know, I wanted Blade part of the collection a long time ago. Now we getting them. Fam, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I've been waiting on. These reveals are looking really good. It's making a lot of collectors happy to collect again. You know, you got Luke Cage in the Power Man suit. You know, in that yellow-black outfit. That's what I'm talking about. You getting us some shit that we want. Clear, I have no idea who that is. And the first ninja, that damn thing looked like one of the hand ninjas built that skull looking mask. It looked bad as hell. Then you got Hawkeye, which is already out on shelves at Targets that people been pointing out to me with that cycle. So you telling me Marvel Legends is starting to actually have vehicles. They're actually showing a lot of renderings for the Dreadnoughts now. Uh, they're showing renderings for, um, now what was that vehicle they had for the Dreadnoughts? Uh, I forgot what that vehicle was. It was red and blue and black for the Dreadnoughts. They had it red in the case. Um, they also coming out with a lot of other figures with vehicles, man. And I'm like, damn, I think G.I. Joe is listening. I think everybody's listening. You know what? We don't need big gigantic vehicles. We're just asking for some vehicles. We're asking for, you know, just something to put our toys in, to ride them around. Man, I still play with my shit. You know, it's not just stuff sitting up here and it's collecting dust. No, I play with this stuff. If you know the shit be looking different half of the damn time because I move it around. Again, that's how your collection's supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to work. And this is how you're supposed to feel. You know what? It's making me happy to be a collector again, fam. And that's a good thing. You know, you remember I was upset about a lot of stuff, us not being able to get certain things. Um, we're feeling like our area is really um, just desolate. Now with new things coming and everything is changing, it's making a lot of us feel a lot better. You know, that's all I could say, man. You know, San Diego Comic Con was a really good thing. It really lit fire under the some of the collectors ass man and made us get back out here and start looking again like i told you the dollar trees are holding different type of toys uh we got a lot of um uh, bandai um gundams in stores we having a a lot of different kind of um toys period man and you know that's a good thing man we're learning that you know this hobby is growing again you know, right now, with the San Diego Comic Con being the way it was, man, and situated the way it is, it made us see that a lot of people are still out here doing what they're doing. And that's a damn good thing. 
it's a good thing to make us look and see how far we have come as collectors, man. You know, at one point in time, man, I remember, you know, a lot of us, you know, we weren't really into it. We really wasn't seeing what we wanted. But now we're seeing a lot of shit that we want and we're learning to do a lot of things that, you know, make us better as collectors, man. You know, we learned how to organize our stuff, learned how to actually put our stuff on shelves using spice racks in order to make them look a lot better, man. A lot of us are getting better into the display. People are light, lighting their stuff up. You know, um, the stands are all cohesive. They're not different hosh posh stands. You know, they're caring about their collection. Even if they hosh posh shit, it don't matter. Paint them all the same damn color. That's all you need to do. But at the end of the day, man, all I'm saying is, you know, it's good. It feels real good to be a collector right now. Again, that Cat's Lair got me really excited. That G.I. Joe Airship. All of this shit from Super 7 got me excited. Then it got me excited for looking at the Joe stuff. Then it got me excited for looking at the Marvel Legends stuff. Man, the shit that they got in stores, I'm going to send you pictures of what people have been sending me. I'm going to put pictures up in the community section for y'all can see what the hell is out there. There's a lot of shit out there, but see, a lot of us don't understand. You know, some of us gripe at other people for being able to fashion, and that's not how this should be working. We should be applauding our brothers and sisters for finding stuff. I don't give a damn if you spent $1,000 on a toy. That's your damn money. Whether you think I, it was worth the $1,000, you don't really got to say it. That's my business. If I spent $1,000, like if people are buying these HasLab situations, yeah, I was pissing on people's parade. I was saying that negative shit. I apologize. Now, I'm going to say that as a whole grown ass man. It wasn't my cup of tea, but it may have been somebody else's. But at the end of the day, you do you. You make yourself happy. That's what this life is about. This life is about you moving forth and understanding what the hell else is going on here, man. You know, the San Diego Comic Con really made a lot of people feel good. I heard a lot of collectors on his YouTube channels saying they feel good to be a collector now. You know, before they were upset, they were angry, shit was in the air because see, shit is half-assed sometimes. And I'm just happy right now to be a collector. And I just want to say it again. I'm happy that y'all come to this channel and watch. I'm happy that a lot of you all are subscribing. I'm happy to add y'all to this family that I call Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews. I'm happy um, to point out the Facebook channel where y'all can go over there and actually, you know, go over there and post your stuff and be amongst people who collect and not feel judged. Man, as grown men and women, that's one thing. When I seen that San Diego Comic Con that I was so happy about, I seen people actually enjoy collecting people buying shit people excited people generally sitting there in these um announcements and watching these seminars with people talking and you know it's a blessing it's a blessing that people were able to go and show us the experience that they had you know it felt like i was there with some of the people that were talking they talked to me like i was part of the situation and that's what you're supposed to do this is how some people are able to get us in with them because they treat us like we're actual people. And that's what I've been talking about for the longest. I hope that's what I'm doing here on this channel. I hope that I make you a part of this situation, that you feel like you part of this family that I created here. Because at the end of the day, this is not just about me. It's about all of us as collectors talking about things, dealing with collecting, feeling some kind of way, lifting one another up when we score good deals or we find like a needle in a haystack. Man, that's what you're supposed to do. You know, uh, just being a part of this is something. And this is what I wanted to talk to you all about. You know, you may see me put religious quotes up. I'm not a very churchy church type person, but I have faith. And, you know, to be here where I'm at today is by the grace of God. So I just want to say, look, you don't have to, you know, feel like I'm trying to ram religion down your throat. That ain't what I'm trying to do. I'm just giving praise for all the things that I was able to accomplish and all the things that good and bad that happened in my life. Just saying thank you. Um, and thank you.
Um, I don't think a lot of YouTubers do that a lot. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. To later, fam, peace out.